US politics has seen its dark underbelly laid bare in this election. But in Raleigh, North Carolina, dawn broke the cycle as the democratic process broke records. This is news from North Carolina Public Radio, WUNC. Early in-person voting got underway this morning. Across the United States, voter turnout is turning in to a historic high. Good morning, everyone. It is now 8 o'clock sharp, and the polls are open. They cheered at doors open on day one of voting in rally. Across America, 15 million had already cast an early ballot before them. Voting is important, and uh, believe me, for the nightmare that we've suffered in this country for the last four years, it's very important for me to be here. I wanted to show my kids what it means to me, uh, how important the voting is. There's a lot going on that I'm not happy with, and I hope my vote counts to straighten that out and fix it. What are you not happy with? I'm not happy with Joe Biden. Early analysis of the data shows that of those casting their ballot early, a disproportionate number are black voters and women, demographics that don't favor Donald Trump. The vote process has been repeatedly questioned by President Trump. It's kept them busy here, in a place they call the boiler room. Hey, Angie. Uh, this is Shelby. From Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. It's Allison. The ticket will be assigned to the vote. Hey, Charlie. This is Gina. This is guidance for voters. An advice hotline getting hotter, they say, because of remarks in the White House. I think one of the things that we are concerned about is some of the really intense rhetoric around voter, alleged voter fraud, or you know, encouraging people to, uh, you know, to, to intervene uh, in, you know, in the act of, of voting. Right? Election officials have a hard enough job. You're asking for a lot, man. <laughs> North Carolina's voters won't be hosting a scheduled midweek visit by Democrat vice presidential candidate Kamala Harris after two people involved with her campaign tested positive for COVID. It's a hitch to affect her voting drive, but not these voters. Their minds and millions more are already made up and their votes already cast. James Matthews, Sky News, in Raleigh, North Carolina.